Hey guys, XB on Mind Games here, bringing you another match of the Pokemon, Pokemon Fantasy Battle League. This is the last match of week six. Um, this match was played a while ago, actually. I've just been too busy to record it. Uh, but now I'm finally getting to it, and we have the Miami Guard Choms versus the Pittsburgh Steelixes. Um, both teams are not looking too good this season. Uh, both have very, very powerful teams, and it's just not going their way this season. Um, Comment down below who you think is going to be the MVP of the match. Who's going to win? What team's going to win? Um, my prediction. Just doing a quick basic look at the team. I mean, no team really has one straight weakness. Um, let's see. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Pincer. Mega Pincer. That's my prediction. Uh, let's see how Mega Pincer does in this match. Remember, like I said before, I don't watch these matches. I like watching them live. Just so I can see what happens. So this looks his lead off with Del Fox. And that is going to be the Titar. The event Titar. So he gets the sand up. What is Del Fox going to do to it? Switcheroo. I thought Titar has. Oh, okay. Now Titar has that item, and hey, payback does one hit KO it. Now he is burned. Pretty useless. Brings in the melodic. Nice shiny melodic. Our chumps pull out Titar, bring in Selvion. Good choice. Bring in the special wall. Goes for the skull, fishing for a burn. Does not get it. Melonic is there. He goes into his cleft key. Sylvian goes for the hydro, which is resisted, not going to do anything. Clefki takes no damage in the same. Clefki gets a T wave off, but more than likely, Selvion knows Heal Bell. He does get one turn of Parahat. Takes more damage. Lair spikes up, good play. He goes paralyzed twice in a row. So the hacks are on the Steelix's side as of right now. Sandstorm just stopped. See if Club Key decides to go for another set of spikes. And he does. He's got to go for an EQ. See if he brings in his Aerodactyl. He does, predicting it. Good play. Predicting the Ice Fang. Switches out. To Gastrodon. And see if it just goes for an EQ. You see a Mega? One of my favorite Mega Pokemon. Yeah, Mega I think he was one of the only Megas really, really totally changed his design. That doesn't do anything. Did you see the Lefty's recovery on Gastrodon? Here in the skull or the ice beam goes out into superior. Which is a perfect counter for gas for that. Gas for that goes for the skull. Let's see if he decides to stay in, which I would assume that he's not going to. As he does switch out to gas for that. Now, interesting story about uh, the Pittsburgh Steelix's superior. Um, I actually know him in real life, and he has the worst luck when it comes to superior. That move he just got off, that Giga Drain, was his first move in about nine battles with superior. So, not. Not doing too well with Superior. 
it's just, she's always had bad luck when it comes to bringing in superior. Usually he gets a crit or he just predicts wrong. But good to see him get a move off with him. He does bring in the club key, resist the outrage, good play. Ferrothorn comes in, gonna take a little bit of spike damage. Foul play. Hurt uh, him probably more than hurt the Ferret one. Let's see if he does get a T wave off. Just gets another layer of spikes up. So there's the there's three layers of spikes. Ferret one going for the Leech Seed. The Leech Seed recovery. Leech Seed left his recovery, I should have said. I love using Ferret when it doubles. I just think he got a big downplay because Charizard Y. Heat Wave. Anybody with Heat Wave pretty much ruins Ferret Ferrothorn now going for Stealth Rock. Let's see if Aerodactyl goes for the EQ. So I think these are already back at full health pretty much. Fire Fang. Will it be enough? It's not enough. I'm surprised I did not kill. That's going to be a dead Aerodactyl. It does go down to the Euro Ball, Tyro Ball, however you want to say it, Euro Ball. A lot of does come in. Let's see what he has with his Melodic. Yeah, good, play, good play to go with the Protect, because I'm not sure what this Melodic has for him. So I'm just going for a Scald. It's not going to kill him. But Twitch trying to get a burn. Let's see if this Ferrothorn's probably not carrying, it's not carrying the, uh, Power Whip. It's got Leech Seed, Stealth Rocks, Protect, Hero Ball. Just gonna keep Lefty's Recovery. Lefty's Recovery. Lefty's Leech Seed Recovery. Melodic's going down. So it's going the exact opposite of what you want it to do. Switches into the Jelteon. Another good play for the Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball, Euro Ball. I'll just say Gyro Ball. So let's see if a Thunderbolt would kill Hidden Power Ice. Should've went for a T-Bolt, Dan. I guess he would've been stabbed. He would've got the crit. That would've killed him. But, obviously, you wouldn't have known that you would've got a crit, so... Oh, uh, maybe he was predicting the card challenge which I think he was doing. There's the hacks. <laughs> he was predicting the guard chomp switch in. That's what he was doing. Predicting the thunderbolt. Guard chomps were going to switch in the guard chomp. Okay. I got you now. Should have went for a recover. No, you want that ferrothorn dead, but now the melodic's gonna die. Here comes my pick. He did not mega right there. Which I will make sure I'll let him know that he needs the mega next time because that's, that's against the rules actually. Let's see if it matters. I mean. Got a Moxie boost, so let's see what happens. 
do the sea wave off. Continue to the super power. Does take out the cleft key. No. Superior comes out. Everything's flying tight. That's gonna take out the superior. Oh, but he's paralyzed. Gets the leech seed off. Here we get more, more health back now. And now he gets to go first. So what does he have for this pencil? Master Rasm. Neutralizes his ability. Nice. Good play. <laughs> uh, I love Gastro Asking. You don't ever see it. But that pretty much just saved him right there. And that must be the wrong pincer because that return did about 4 damage. So bring some of the Selvia. Let's see if he goes for another Gastro Acid here. Or if he just wants to try to kill it. But it does activate the Citrus with the spikes. Setting up now. Attack rules, defense rules, accuracy rules. Let's see if he goes for the Lucy. Uh, goes for the gas around to get rid of the pixelate. Good play. And it's paralyzed. He's getting all the hats. Go for a leaf seed here. Oh, he has a plus one accuracy. That's guaranteed. Now his Pinsir and his Sylveon and his Titar are now here of their status. Superior almost back at full health. This is the longest I've seen Superior ever on the field for this game. That does nothing. Now he's back at full health. Sylveon goes for the wish. Pretty much going to put him back at full health. So hopefully he predicts the protects. He goes for another coil. That is not. That would have been the play to make. That way you would have been at plus two. We're getting a nice recovery off of this thing. Superior's a cool Superior set up. I like this. More elite seat damage. Another coin. He wants this match to end. There's nothing. Can Superior come through? Superior's looking real nice. Sets up again. It's another wish off. These few turns have been pretty much useless. Damage boys. See the Sylveon switches out. Goes down into Titar. Looks good. Saiyan's gonna bring in special defense up. Continue to set up. Attack, defense, accuracy. We're seeing this is a special superior. She can 
Now it's pretty much a max. But he is still carrying the flame orb. <laughs> Fire Blast does almost knock him out. It's a crit. So all that said, no. So you get hit by one crit Fire Blast. Let's see how much a Giga Drain does. To the T-Tar. It's insane. Definitely won't kill, but... Giga Drain? Nothing. Another fire blast. So despite all of the hacks that he got, the guard chomps did, and it came through. I believe that was a 5-0 win. Um, only Pokemon to go down was who died. I don't know. I don't remember. But it was a good match. A lot of setting up from the superior. Uh, Steelixes now are at 204 as well as the Garn Shops 204. So now we're at the halfway point of the season. Uh, I will be making a video about who's on the who's on the top Pokemon and most kills, best KD ratio, and the highlights of the season. Alright guys, well tune in next week for week seven matches. Have a good one.